So I want to go over some applications. Uh, this will be on uh, applying um, the hyperbolic functions to cables. Um, and um, cables can take uh, the shape of, a, of the Cauch function. It's called the catenary. Um, uh, if there's no weights hanging from it, for example, a telephone wire. Um, uh, by way of contrast, uh, if there are uniformly distributed weights uh, hanging from uh, the wire, then um, uh, the shape is going to be a parabola. So it look, they look very similar. It's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it, uh, but the formulas are different. And also the, the catenary has a special property uh, that's not true for a parabola, that uh, the ratio of the area underneath the curve uh, to the length of the curve is a constant. Um, so um, the area underneath the curve would be this area here, and the length is the, is the length of the wire. Um, okay, so let's uh, get, give some uh, specific examples here. Um, we have um, um, a shape of a particular uh, cable hanging from uh, poles at x equal negative 34 feet and x equal positive 34 feet at f of x equals 17 cosh of x over 17. And we want to know the height of the cable at the, uh, at the poles. Um, well, I'll do the left pole. The po two poles are going to be the same. Um, uh, the, the, um, uh, there's a, a certain amount of symmetry here, um, so that the two poles will be the same. Um, but um, uh, the left pole, the height of the left pole, uh, is going to be uh, f of negative 34. Um, and that's going to be um, uh, uh, 17 cosh, negative 34 over 17. Uh, so it's 17 cosh of uh, negative 2. Um, so that's going to be 17 e to the um, negative 2 plus e to the minus negative 2 over 2. So it's 17 over 2 times uh, e to the minus 2 plus e to the 2. And we can put this in a calculator. It's, it's approximately uh, 64 feet. Um, that, uh, most calculators are able to compute exponential functions. Exponent, the e is approximately 2.7. So it's approximately 2.7 to the minus 2 plus 2.7 to the 2. Um, Okay, so, and the right pole is actually going to uh, be the same height, six, about approximately 64 feet. Um, the lowest point, um, okay, so let's, let me uh, bring out the graph. We did this graph earlier of the, of the, uh, gosh, um, and, um, so we found that f of, f of zero is equal to one. That's, that's the lowest point, um. Uh, cosh of zero is equal to one. So, um, uh, if if we um, uh, if we do f of zero, um, seventeen cosh zero over seventeen, um, seventeen cosh zero, and cosh zero we know is one. Um, seventeen times one is seventeen feet. Uh, or we put e to the zero plus e to the minus zero, but that's it's equal to one. Um, so the, the lowest point, uh, height of the table is 17 feet. Okay. Um, uh, a slope of the uh, cable at the left pole. Um, so for that we need the derivative. Um, so again, f, f of x is uh, 17 cosh x over 17, if we take the derivative um, of prime of x, well this will need, this is a composite function, so we'll have to use a chain rule. Outside function is cosh, so we'll have 17, the derivative of cosh is cinch of uh, x over 17, and then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the uh, derivative of x over 17 is just 1 over 17. So the 17s will cancel, um, and this is just equal to, um, Cinch of x over 17. Okay, so we um, so at the um, at the left pole, 
um, uh, x is negative 34. So if we do f prime of negative 34, that's cinch of negative 34 over 17, cinch of negative 2, uh, it's e to the minus 2 minus e to the minus negative 2 over 2, so e to the minus 2 minus e squared over 2, and again we can put this in a calculator, it's approximately a negative 3.6 uh, uh, feet down uh, per foot across. So every time you go a foot across, you go negative 3.6 feet down. Um, and the slope of the, uh, at the right pole is going to be the uh, same magnitude, but it'll be the opposite sign. So at the right pole, uh, we have a positive slope that's going up as you go from left to right. So um, um, this will be f prime of uh, 30, positive 34, and that's gonna, that'll be a positive 3.6 feet up per foot uh, across. Um, okay, so um, a length of the curve um, I'm just uh, I'm not going to try to um, sort of spend time developing this formula. I'm just going to sort of hand it to you, but uh, you may see this uh, uh, in more detail and uh, uh, if you can't, can't take calculus too, but the, um, uh, the length of the curve is um, uh, on, a, on a closed interval from c to d is uh, the integral from c to d of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of squared uh, dx. So, um, okay, so let's see if we can um, compute the length of this cable. So again, um, um, f of, f of, um, we already computed f prime of x um, uh, to be um, from the previous example. f prime of x is um, cinch of uh, x over 17. Uh, <coughs> Uh, so this is um, uh, this l length of the curve is going to be um, um, uh, it's going to be the integral from minus 34 to 34 square root of uh, 1 plus cinch squared x over 17 uh, dx um, and um, uh, you may remember before that um, cos squared uh, minus cinch squared equals 1. Uh, that means that um, cos squared is equal to uh, 1 plus cinch squared. And that means that cos is equal to square root of 1 plus cinch squared. And it's going to be the positive square root because um, Kosh is, is positive. Uh, Kosh is always uh, positive. Uh, remember that the graph here that we did before, uh, Kosh is always positive. And also from the formula, uh, we have a, a number to a power, positive number to a power e is 2.7 uh, and a string of decimals, but it's it's a positive number to a power, so it's, it's going to be positive. Um, that'll be the positive square root. So we can write this as, um, as the integral from uh, minus 34 to 34 of uh, cosh uh, x over 17 dx. And then we can do a substitution. Uh, let's let, say u is x over 17. So it's a composite function. Uh, inside is x over 17. du is uh, 1 over 17 dx. And uh, that means dx is equal to 17 du. Okay, so we can make a substitution there, um, and also uh, let's change the limits to um, when when x uh, when x is uh, negative thirty four, u is going to be negative thirty four over seventeen, which is negative two. When uh, x is positive thirty four, u is positive thirty four over seventeen, which is positive two. So we'll also change the limits of integration. So this is integral from uh, minus 2 to 2 of um, cosh u um, 
uh, and then we'll have d replace dx by 17 du. Um, okay, so the antiderivative of the cosh um, is uh, the cinch, um, because we already um, we didn't really focus too much on antiderivatives, but the derivative of cinch is the cosh. That means the antiderivative of the cosh is the cinch. So this is going to be 17 cinch uh, u evaluate at negative 2 and 2. So it's 17 parentheses um, cinch 2 minus cinch negative 2. And cinch is, uh, is an odd function. That means minus cinch of negative 2 is the same as cinch 2. So this is going to be 17 cinch 2 plus cinch 2. So it's uh, 17 times 2 cinch 2 or 34 cinch uh, 2. Um, so that's going to be um, 34 times e to the 2 minus e to the minus 2 over 2. And if you put it in a calculator, it's approximately uh, 123 feet. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the length of the cable. So it's, it's a handy thing to know because uh, if you're stringing a, a telephone wire between two poles, you want to know and, and, and how much to uh, uh, how much wire. And so if uh, evidently it will be actually about double, uh, um, uh, at least if it's if this equation is uh, a cosh, not all cosh curves are the same. Uh, um, we have um, not all catenaries are the same. We have a 17. Maybe they'll have a different number in there. But if uh, if the, if the if the formula has a 17 in it, then uh, uh, you'll need to almost double the amount of wire. Um, we can also compute the area under the curve. Um, so that would be um, um, so that's the integral uh, from um, uh, so anyway the f, f, f of x is uh, 17 cosh x over 17. So the, um, so the area is going to be the, the integral, my 34 to 34 of f of x. Uh, so it would be uh, 17 cosh x over 17 dx. And uh, again, we can do a substitution. Uh, u is equal to x over 17. Uh, du is 1 over 17 dx. Um, and so that means d dx is 17 du. And we can also change the limits of integration. Again, the limits are going to be minus 2 to 2, um, same as before. Uh, 17 cosh u, and then dx is uh, times 17 du. Um, so this um, so this is all equal to uh, 17 times 17, 289. Um, and um, the antiderivative of cosh is in a cinch, so it would be cinch u evaluated at minus 2 and 2, 289 um, cinch 2 minus cinch uh, negative 2. Again, cinch is uh, an odd uh, function. That means that uh, minus the sign of uh, minus 2 is the same, uh, minus the cinch of minus 2 is the same as cinch of 2. So this is uh, 289 times cinch 2 plus cinch 2, or 289 times 2 times cinch 2. Um, and that's about, it's 578 cinch 2. Um, so, um, Uh, 578 times cinch 2. Um, so again, we could do an approximation here. It's 578 times um, um, e to the 2 minus e to the minus 2 over 2. Um, and um, let's see what that comes out to be. Uh, uh, 
Okay, so I'll do a parentheses, second ln, two, close parentheses, minus second ln, negative two, close parentheses twice, divided by two, uh, 3.62 something, and then times 578. Um, but about 2096 um, square feet, um, approximately uh, 2096 square um, square feet. Okay, um, so um, uh, part G, we're asking for the ratio between uh, E and F. So uh, from part E, we'll go back to the uh, exact numbers rather than the approximation. Um, the exact number for E was um, 34, um, or 17 times 2 times cent U. Uh, so E, we had uh, 17 times 2 times cent U. And F, uh, we have um, uh, 17 times 17 times 2 times cent U. Okay. Um, so, um, so, th so this is, this is, uh, this is the previous part here. Um, so the um, 17 times 2 times cent u will cancel. And um, we, we're going to get uh, just 1 over 17. So that's the ratio. In general, um, um, f of x equal um, uh, a cosh um, of uh, x over a. Um, the um, length divided by area uh, is, is equal to 1 over a. Um, so that's sort of a, a general rule. And uh, that's the property of catenaries. It's not, it doesn't apply to parabolas, but it's a property of catenaries. Um, okay, so that concludes this presentation.